Okay, well, can they tell me that Josie Zoo is next? I love reading the zoo bulletin board. You can never tell what you might find. Look! Employment opportunities. Wanted. Mr. Wilderbeer's delivery. Must have own car. Hey! I could get my own job. Look at this one. Animals wanted for scientific experiments. We pay peanuts. It says here, they pay peanuts. Peanuts? For scientific experiments? Who's going to work for peanuts? <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's sign up and all. Yeah, I've never been experimented on before. Me neither. Besides, how hard could it be? Hello, I am Dr. Frank. I will be your mad scientist for animal experimentation today. Hi, Hi Frank. 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 First of all, has anyone here uh, ever been experimented on before? Nobody? Not even for cosmetic companies? Great. Then you're all in for a real treat. Told you this was going to be fun. What are these? Ach. These are release forms. Just routine. It protects us legally if anything goes wrong. You have a bad accident or you die as a result of the experiments. Okie dokie. Sounds fair to me. Me too. Anyone got a pen? I need a pen. <laughs> What's so funny, Dr. Frank? Nothing. here. This is madness. What are you doing out of your cage? It's time for your experiment. Um, I was thinking, I changed my mind, that perhaps I don't want to be experimented on. Most amusing. Hello? Anybody there? Hello? When does my experiment start? Right now. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Ouch. Does that hurt? Yes. Interesting. Ow. 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 See? That wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> and to show you what a good sport I am, here's your pay for today. Now, who wants to volunteer for experiments tomorrow? Oh, it's so hard to get good animals to experiment on these days. Say, has anyone seen Bob? Oh, yes. Bob found out that in addition to peanuts, Dr. Frank also pays rands. You mean? Oh, yes. Bob volunteered for the experiments. Hello? Anyone there? Uh, when does my experiment begin? Oh. Hello? Oh. Hey. Are you crazy? What? Hey. Ow. Oh. 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 Ow. I've changed my mind. I don't want to do it. Oh. Ow. Entertainment for all of us. Now, after
after checking this out, I have to warn you, you may never look at the zoo in the same way again. Enjoy! Fun. The memo from management. <laughs> Cheeky meerkat. What? Come on, come on, man. The zoo is closing. That's right. Come on, hit the road, man. We're walking, we're walking. Move it along, move it along. Hey, that's lovely. Have a nice life. Okay, bye bye. Ciao. Auf Wiedersehen, lady. Salah Kasle. Au revoir. Now it has come to our attention that some animals have been displaying human-like characteristics during zoo hours. This must stop immediately as it's not consistent with the zoo policy. Remember your place, y'all. You're an animal, not a human being. You must walk around like animals and talk like the animals. Signed, Zoo Management. Any questions? Y yes, I have a c c c question. S -s suppose... Quiet, Charlie. Y you g g got it. In other words... That would be marvellous, darling. Any time tomorrow is good. Why don't we say two o'clock? Gotta go. Ciao. How does she punch in the number? With her tongue, you chucklehead. Right. That does it, man. From now on, all cell phones will be handed in during zoo hours. Ah. Hey, chill, man. Don't catch any canaries. I'll give them all back at closing time. Come on, let's go. Cell phones up front. Come on, keep going. Anyone else? I said cell phones up front now, man. That's more like it. Hey, where's that music coming from, man? Oh, nice try. Hand over the iPod. Only way you'll get in my iPod is if you pry it out of my cold panther claws. I'll give the dude what he wants before he downloads a virus onto it. Right. Now, anything else that you could have that could be construed as a, as a human? Oh, wonderful. Wake up, you lazy meerkat. What, what's all that? Looks like a pile of junk. No, it's lost and found. What's up? Well, it's almost time to open the gates. Notice anything missing? Your brain cells. The animals you half with. Half the animals are missing. Huh? You are in deep, deep trouble. A zoo with no animals. Where could they possibly be, man? Right, who gets the milkshake with the floating jellies? That's mine, darling. And the banana splits? Nice sound system. Quadrophonic, five speakers. And careful with those crumbs. That's a llama hair carpet you're eating over. The popcorn's ready. Baby, go get the popcorn out of the microwave. Yeah, sure. Always make the female do all the work. It's cause I'm a soft. Ain't it? Does this thing get my favorite soapy backstage? You, you, you got any 
the, 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 the DVDs. M -m 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 Madagascar is one of my favorite m -m 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 movies. The animals of Josie Zoo don't rake in cash like that. But what I can guarantee you is that they have an awesome time and they know how to party. As soon as the food's done, then the monkey business starts. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yebo, yebo. You feel itchy? from management. It has come to our attention that many of the zoo animals seem to be scratching themselves more than usual. Please get to the root of the problem. Otherwise, we'll be forced to call the vet. <coughs> I got good news and bad news. What do you want to hear first? The bad news? You all got lice in your hair. Lice! Lice! If that's the bad news, what's the good news? I found ten rand on the ground on the way to work today. What? What happens now? What do you jolly think? I'm calling in the vet. Wait. <laughs> to volunteer for a um, jolly lice removal, take one step forward. Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, wait a second. It's a misunderstanding. Oh. <laughs> uh, 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 aren't you g g g going to g g give him the injection? The, the, the shot? No, that was just to scare all the lice away. <laughs> I hate that guy. Am I still alive? You feel itchy? No. You? That was pretty clever, scaring away all the lice. Except, if all the lice jumped off us, where did they all go? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good point. Where did they all go? Mm. 
Want me to uh, call the vet? And the best part is that it is a completely local show, which really? is awesome. Now that is something to be proud of. It's proud. I'm proud. Let's go check it out. I'm proud. from management. Please note that today is Animal Exchange Day. Have fun. Sign Zoo Management. Animal Exchange Day. What's Animal Exchange Day? bump into each other in the, 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 the jungle. So the f f f first giraffe says, Yuck! No, 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 no! He didn't say that! Exchange Day? No, it, it's an idea from management to give animals a chance to experience new things. New surroundings, new enclosures, new environments. Oh. Ew. What's that? A tire. A tire? What are we supposed to do with it? I think gorillas sit in it. Want to try? You crazy? You think I'm going to sit somewhere a gorilla's been sitting? I'm a lady, silly. I knew that. I feel like a total fish out of water. M -m 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 me too. Oh, no, 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 no. What? This is ha 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 I s s s s suffer from hay fever. I'm allergic to hay. Ha, ha, ha. Uh-oh. Ha, ha. Want a tissue? Where's my eye? I need my eye. I'm naked without my eye, man. Oh, pipe down. It's not so bad here after all. It's more roomy. I like it. Hey, careful. I think that fence might be... Hey, it electrifies. <laughs> Hope you all had a happy Animal Exchange Day. <laughs> I can't wait till next year when... Huh? Hey! Let go of me, you 
Johnny Helikopter Driver. The polar bear enclosure. You think I'm afraid of a little ice? You think I'm afraid of a little ice? Water! You know what they say, revenge is a dish best served cold. You can say that again. Revenge is a... Keep quiet, Boo. You sure you can drive this thing? Hey, can we land now, huh? I'm getting seasick. G'day, Chopper. You lost again? Who's gonna notice your shirt? Oh, dream on, Maddie baby. Folks out there are looking at me, at my shirt. Mm -hmm. And soon, something almost as cool. And what would that be? Josie Zoo. Duh. Check it out. I'm starved. Me too. Uh, feeding time. Eat up, everyone. It's your favorite tuna surprise. <laughs> 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 no tuna, no tuna, no tuna, no tuna. Grumble all you want. Tuna surprise is what there is, and tuna surprise is what you get. <laughs> okay. Who threw that jolly tuna surprise in my face? No tuna, no tuna, no tuna. No tuna. <laughs> you think you scare me? You don't scare me! Just a cat, right? Uh, yes, uh, I'm only a little stray zoo cat. <laughs> oh, get a grip, Bob. It was just a little kitty. Phew, that was a close one. Now all we have to do is get over the gate. Piece of cake. Oh, maybe not. Watch and learn. Hi. That might be a little difficult for me. Crumpets! Any of you guys got a hacksaw? Oops. What a chucklehead. What the heck? Run for it! Code red, code red, escaping zoo animals request immediate backup. It's a 
sh 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 short walk to f f f freedom. Yeah, yeah, hit it. Let's go. <laughs> okay. No more tuna surprise. Happy now? That's more like it. That time, I should say so. I hate that tuna surprise. Thank goodness, I'm tired. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, I have the steak, uh, medium rare, a nice samosa, and uh, cream spinach. You want baked potato or chips? Uh, let's see. I, 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 I'd go for the ch 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 baked potato. Done. Jolly baked potato eating zoo escaping animals. Who's next? I'll have the Caesar salad. Dressing on the side. Viva le Josie Zoo! Yay! Noticed there are hundreds of smelly rubbish bags all over the zoo. <laughs> On Jolly Strike! On Jolly Strike! On Jolly Strike! On Jolly Strike! Uh, what's going on, Bob? What does it look like, you jolly animals? I am on strike. What's a strike? It's when management won't give me a jolly wage increase. So to pay them back, I don't do any work, like cleaning out your jolly cages. But who's going to dispose of all our rubbish? Not my problem, you goofy horn brain. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to my strike. <coughs> Now what? But that's very unfair, Bob. It stinks. Yeah. How long will it be before someone cleans our cages? What? Sorry. How long will it be before someone cleans our cages? How should I know, you jolly wildebeest? It could be days, months, maybe years before management gives in. Years? Hey! 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 On Jolly Strike! On Jolly Strike! On Jolly Strike! On Jolly Strike! Hey! Didn't anyone hear me? I just roared! This stinks. Okay, everyone. Are we going to let this get us down? Are we going to stand around, surrounded by a few bags of smelly rubbish and garbage? Or are we all going to pitch in and clean it up? 
Who's with me? Let's go! Okay, okay, okay. I'll pay you ten bucks each. That's more like it. Okay. Lead the way. Ten bucks. Deal. Come on, let's go. On Jolly Strike. On Jolly Strike. Bob, how's the strike going? Strike? What strike? There never was a strike. I'm just lazy and wanted you and your animal pals to clean up the zoo. <laughs> the oldest trick in the book, the old fake strike to get animals to clean up the zoo trick. <laughs> and you fell for it. <laughs> Have a nice day, Bob. <laughs> What's this for? Hey, come back here, you garbage dropping beer cat. Hey, 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 I won't forget this. Hey, hey. Right. Nothing. I just think you can do better. If you think you can do better, you go for it, Matthew. All right. <clears throat> Animals in the zoo is on your TV, so check it out now. It's the zoo from Josie. Matthew, Matthew. Mm. <laughs> Guys, go check out Josie's zoo. <laughs> that was like uh, wet. <laughs> yeah, but... Josie's zoo. But I... <sighs> just watch it. Is the life meat cooking on the fire, eating out under the stars, living in a controlled zoo environment, surrounded by bars, enclosures, and cages. <sighs> Could I have another b -b 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 sausage roll? Oh. Did you just ha ha he hear something? Ah, uh, probably just an animal. Nope. That's no jolly animal. Huh? It's the Phantom. He's out there somewhere right now. Phantom? What Phantom? It's a terrifying and true story. Nah, you wouldn't be interested. Yes, we w w w would. Tell us. Go on. Well... What are you doing? You don't smoke a pipe. Good point. Uh, uh, go on, Bob. Well, it all started about four or five years ago. Wait a minute. Why is everything getting all wavy? It's a flashback, you jolly bird brain. I'm taking you back in time. Oh, go on. Well, about four or five years ago, there was a really mean and nasty zookeeper. You, Bob? No, not me, you jolly feather brain. Another mean and nasty zookeeper. <laughs> he annoyed everybody, and none of the animals liked him. You sure it's not you, Bob? I said it's not me. Go on. Finally, management couldn't take it anymore. And so they fired him. <laughs> he didn't take it well. <laughs> that night, <laughs> he swore revenge. He returned to the zoo, deciding to set fire to everything, starting with a souvenir stand. <laughs> So, he burnt down the whole zoo? No, 
one of the elephants got out and accidentally sat on him. Flat as a jolly penny. That's it? What happened? They never found him. But they say his ghost still haunts the zoo at night. Looking for animals to annoy and a way to burn down the entire zoo. Oh, but it's just a jolly story. Don't let it bother you. Have a nice peaceful night. His ghost still haunts the zoo at night. His ghost still haunts the zoo at night. Will you please stop that? Sorry. <laughs> It's the It's the Not quite. Allow me to introduce Bob, why would you do such a thing? Elementary, my dear crocodile. Bob made up the whole phantom story to scare us into escaping, then scare management into leaving. That way he could take over and have the entire zoo to himself. Am I right, Bob? Uh, no, I was just bored, and I like annoying jolly animals. Oh, so that's it. Come on, I'm going back to bed. M m m me too. Me too. <laughs> nice try, Bob. Yeah? Who do you think you're fooling? Uh, but are you talking to me? What's going on? <laughs> it's the real. F f f f f f f <laughs> it's him! <laughs> Check out Josie Zoo. No, but yeah, but I can. Josie Zoo. Great news, everyone. Memo from management. The famous animal doctor, Dr. Doolittle, will be visiting our zoo this afternoon. Please make him feel welcome. Only man in the world who can walk like the animals and talk like the animals. Dr. Doolittle? He's not a vet, is he? <laughs> come on, come on. Zoo's closing. We've got a famous guest. That's right. Hit the road. We're walking. We're walking. That's great. Have a nice life. Ciao. Hasta la vista. Bye. Adios. <laughs> Hi, I'm the famous Dr. Doolittle. I can walk like the animals and talk like the animals. Where are all the animals? I want to walk and talk with them. Well, you can start with me. I myself am an animal. No, I mean the interesting animals. Oh, well, thank you so much. Can we snap it up a little? I'm on a tight schedule. Ah. <sighs> Hello, I'm the famous Dr. Doolittle. I can walk like the animals and talk like the animals, which is why I'm talking to you right now. How are you doing? Can you let go of my hand now? Hello, how are you doing? You've probably heard of me. I'm Dr. Doolittle. I can walk like the animals and I can talk like the animals. Let's wrap heart to heart. So, what's new? Everything good? Who's who in the zoo? They feeding you okay or what? Keep your hand on your wallet. Anyway, as you know, I like to walk and talk like the animals. Now take my wife, please. <laughs> that was a joke. Yes, my wife, Mrs. Little. See, she can't walk or talk like the animals. In fact, my wife hates it when I walk and talk like the animals. Why? One word, jealousy. But I don't care. I love to talk like the animals. What about you? Do you like to talk to the animals? 
Sure, I can walk like the animals, talk like the animals, but I bet you didn't know I can also dance like the animals. <laughs> Ta-da! What do you think? Who let this fool inside? You know, some of my best friends are Black Panthers. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? I'm back, and I was wondering... Well, I have never encountered such rudeness. You know, I have a good mind to really say goodbye and leave this zoo. Fine, I am out of here. Have a nice life. <clears throat> No, I couldn't just leave you all like that. I could never forgive myself. I love to talk like the animals. Hey, hello? If you ask me, this guy should shut up like the animals. Anyway, as I was saying... Hello, I'm the famous Dr. Doolittle. I walk like the animals and talk like the animals. In your case, I would slither like the animals. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? Slither like the animals? Reptiles, you've got to love them. Hey, how about a little conversation? Yoo-hoo, I'm talking to you. Anyway, enough about me. Let's talk about you. What do you think of me? Right. All those in favor of Dr. Doolittle not talking or walking like the animals... Raise your paws, hooves, or hands. Motion carried. Right, well, uh, thanks for coming, Doc. No, no, it was my pleasure. Uh, sorry you're on such a tight schedule. Uh, need a taxi? I love talking with the animals and walking with the animals. We'll do lunch sometime. Where are we going now? Have a nice life. Are there more animals? Hasta la vista. Uh, take it easy. Ah. Hey, I'm still talking. Yeah, you know what they say about visitors and fish. Both start to smell after three hours. You can say that again. You know what they say about visitors and fish. Both start to... Uh, I talk to the animals, walk like the animals. And birds. Birds are animals too, you know. Which is why I'm talking to you. Hey, did you just do something to Dr. Doolittle? Come back. I'm not finished talking yet. Hey, bird, come back. Let's walk. Let's talk. Let's walk the walk and talk the talk. The very same. Okay, then. In that case, let's go check out Uzi J. Jose. What? Josie Zoo. Hmm. Yeah, and then after that it's time for She's Niz, which also, by the way, has a language of its own. Oh, I understand. Spaceship. I couldn't sleep a wing. What do they want? All right, quiet down, quiet down. We want to know about the alien spaceship. Yeah. Well, what ha ha happened? Ah, where did it come from? We all saw it. Please, nobody panic. We all saw some lights and heard some strange noises last night. That doesn't mean it was an alien spaceship. Bob, tell them. It was an alien spaceship, all right. Duh. Now, I have done a lot of research on alien spaceships. <laughs> an alien spaceship flying over a zoo wall can only mean one thing. They don't want to pay a ticket to get in. No, they're replacing zoo animals with aliens. What are you t t talk s saying? One of us is not what he seems. One of us 
He's not an animal at all. Yeah, you, Bob. I'm not talking about me, you jolly bird brain. They're planning a zoo invasion. One of us is an alien in disguise. That's p -p 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 ridiculous. Are you an alien, Bob? No. Are you? No. Are you, Vili? Uh, I'm not sure. I could be. I mean, I mean, absolutely not. Come on. We already know who the alien is. It's you, Bob. What is this? A jolly witch hunt? No, it's a jolly alien hunt. You're not fooling anyone, alien. Take off that phony nose and mask. Oh, oh, oh you jolly alien accusing me of cat to let go of my nose. Well, if Bob's not an alien, who is it? What we need is some kind of alien test. Let me see what I got in the shed. Nope. You are not an alien. Nope. Just a plain old gorilla with lots of hair and ticks and hasn't washed in about... I got the idea. Okay. Let's check out the Black Panthers. Nope. Nothing. Nada. Let's try the Jolly Meerkat. Uh-oh. Ah, bingo! <laughs> alien alert! I am an animal, not an alien. You are not fooling anyone. Take off that phony nose and mask, you jolly disguised alien. Mm, that's odd. Let me see that alien detector. This isn't an alien detector, this is... Well, I, I made it out of my old radio, with a few video games thrown in. Seemed like a, a good idea at the time. Hey, next time, you build an alien detector, all right? Hi, Faisal. Willie? Cecil? Look at the way they sleep. I bet aliens do a lot of sleeping, too. Do you think? Oh, yeah. They're aliens, all right. Okay, all right. Quiet down. Right. All those who think Max the gorilla is an alien, raise their hand. Or pause. Two, three, four, five. Right. All those who think Willy is the alien, raise your hand. All those who think I am the alien? Is that your final answer? This is crazy! Why can't we all just learn to live together? Because you're an alien, you furry interplanetary weed! Yeah, let's get him! Get the alien! Oh, come on! I'm no more an alien than... than Dali the lion is! Uh, oops! Okay! So, he's an alien. But that doesn't mean Max is an alien. Uh, oh, looks like we're in big trouble, Bob. What do you mean, we, you jolly earthling? <laughs> no, I'm not an earthling. I'm a meerkat. I'm not an earthling, I'm a meerkat. I'm not a... Huh? Wake up, you goofy hairball. You're having a nightmare. Oh, thanks, Bob. I don't care about you. All the noise you're making is keeping me awake. Next time, have a silent nightmare. Aliens replacing zoo animals. What was I thinking? That's the last time I have beef curry for dinner. <laughs> That, Musso, and another kind of gang are going to do their bit in shiznes. Check it out. A joke? A joke. Beautiful night for a fight, folks, here at the Josie Zoo Sporting Theatre. I'm Faisal, and I'll be your ring announcer tonight. And there's a right, a left, a right. Oh, another left. What a fight. And now they're in a clinch. And wait, uh, here comes Bob. Bob? Uh, uh, fight's over. Thank <laughs> you.
Never saw that before in my life. Would I lie to you, Bob? Yeah. Zoo management rules, no gambling, and no monkey fights. Monkey fights? Monkey fights? W what are monkey fights? If I catch you again, I'm reporting you to zoo management, and you and your animal friends are in big trouble. Jolly monkey fight promoting furry meerkat. Ah. No more monkey fights. What are we going to do on Saturday night? Uh, we can play Twister. Get real. Forget it. Twister? You must be joking. Uh, checkers? Hey, the rule is no monkey fights. What about other animals? Meerkat fights? Crocodile fights? I've been known to box a liquid. Very good. The fighting lion. Who are you fighting? Let's see. Dally the lion versus... Don't look at me. I don't have any arms. I'll do it. <gasps> Dolly the lion versus Max the gorilla. That's great. We have a fight. <laughs> Congratulations. You fight next Saturday night. <laughs> He's pretty good. I mean, he's okay. Not fantastic or anything. About average. Don't worry about a thing. You'll be fine. I told them no monkey fights. They're in big trouble. What a night, folks! It's the animal fight of the century in this corner. Weighing in at, uh, well, I, I never actually weighed him. The king of beasts, the main attraction. <laughs> Get it? Main attraction. <laughs> the master of disaster, Dolly the Lion. And in this corner, the answer to the question, where does a 2,000-pound gorilla sleep? Anywhere he wants to. <laughs> He's hairy, he's ferocious, and he's a close personal friend of mine. We've done lunch together many times. Please give it up for Max the Fighting Gorilla. Okay, now I want a nice clean fight. No nose pulling. Like this. And no hair pulling. Like this. And no hitting below the belt. Uh, I'm not wearing a belt. Neither am I. Uh, okay, uh, forget the belt thing. Now, shake hands, go to your corners, and come out fighting. Ready? And there's the bell. And both fighters have come out their corners. They're cautiously circling one another. Look at that fancy footwork from Dali the Lion. Now, Dali is against the ropes, but Max the Gorilla keeps on coming. And there's a big right cross. And a left. A right. What a fight. If only somebody would hit somebody. And the winner in the first round after only uh, 20 seconds, Dali the Lion. Some fight promoter you, you are. Oh, come on. Was that a good fight? Or was that a good fight? Yeah. All 20 seconds worth. Who ever saw a gorilla with a glass jaw? I want my money back. Uh, sorry, um, no refunds. Come on, guys. Who's going to fight next week? I'd rather play checkers. Guys? Hey, come on. It was a good fight. Just wait till next week. Lion versus uh, uh, giraffe? Uh, Bildebeest? Hey, guys, wait up. <laughs> Josie Zoo, Josie Zoo, Josie Zoo. Salt? Max, 
You okay? Uh -oh. He's choking. Stand back. This looks like a job for Super Meerkat. Uh, you don't have to thank me. Just doing my duty. I'm Super Meerkat. Have a nice day. Up, up, and away! He didn't even do anything. I did all the work, boss. <laughs> 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 This looks like a job for Super Meerkat. <laughs> Here you are, little fellow. <laughs> Leave my son alone, you smelly furry beast. <sighs> it's not easy being a superhero. You've got to be joking. I'm a superhero now, Bob. Call me Super Meerkat. Or you can call me Super for short. And what makes you think you're a jolly superhero? I can bend steel with my bare hands. I can run faster than the speed of light. Ow! My foot! I can fly higher than the tallest mountain. Up, up and away! Yeah, you see, that's your problem. You can't be a jolly superhero without any jolly superpowers. He's right. I need to have superpowers. But how do I get one? Superpowers. Get your superpowers. Yeah. You're selling superpowers. How much? Ten bucks a power. I'll take one. Right. Uh, which superpower would you like? Flying. Then I'll be flying Super Meerkat. There you go. Abra, Kadabra. You can fly. Up, up, and away. I want my money back. Uh, sorry, no refunds. <laughs> Let's see. Superpowers, superpowers. Spider-Man was bitten by a strange spider. No, I hate spiders. Superman was born on the planet Krypton. No, it's too far from the zoo. Radioactive Man was exposed to radioactivity. Ah, here we go. Lightning. Get hit by lightning. That's it. <laughs> Hey, Faisal, what are you doing? Nothing. And why are you standing out in the rain? Uh, just waiting to get hit by a bolt of lightning. Oh. Come on, thunderclouds. Give me a good one. Here I am. Ask him why he wants to get hit by lightning. Hey, Faisal, why do you want to get hit by lightning? So I can get superpowers. So he can get super... I heard. Tell him he's nuts. Hey, Faisal, you're... Over here! Over here! That fool's crazy! Everybody, stand back! Here comes a good one! I can feel it! Huh? Uh... Did we just get... struck... hit by lightning? Absolutely! And by the way, the square root of an isosceles triangle is equal to the sum of its parts. Hey, I'm super smart now. That's interesting. I seem to have acquired X-ray vision. Hey, look, everybody. I can fly. Up, up, and away. <laughs> well, that's just great. I'm very happy for all of you. Uh, 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 guys, uh, could I get a, a flying piggyback ride? Guys, hey guys, wait up! I just want to catch a ride! Yeah, I guess that means Musa and his merry band of hip hoppers are coming up after Josie Zoo. Oh, I'm going 
Well, we all know why we're here. Uh, why are we here? I don't know. Why are we here? Search me. Quiet! We're here to officially welcome a new animal to the Josie Zoo. Please give it up for, um... Oh, uh, 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 Ricardo the Laughing Hyena. Oh, come on. Put your hooves and paws together. Ricardo the Laughing Hyena. Hi, how are you doing? Um, I just want to say that it's great to be here at Josie Zoo. And I look forward to meeting each and every one of you. I hope that we can all get together and have a few laughs. Thanks. Okay, say hello to Willie. And this is Cecil. And these are the reptiles, Annabelle and Charlie. Hi, how are you doing? He seems like a nice enough guy. You think he likes bananas? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, here's one. There's three zookeepers. A short zookeeper, a tall zookeeper, and a fat zookeeper. They all jump off a big cliff at exactly the same time. Which zookeeper hits the ground first? Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> I don't get it. Ow! Get up, you moronic meerkat. I have got a big problem. You should try a breath mint. Not that problem, you jolly meerkat. I got a problem with Ricardo, the laughing hyena. What is it? He never laughs. Mm. What good is having a laughing hyena if he never laughs? I thought I heard him chuckle a little. I'm putting you in charge. I don't care what you have to do. But I want to see that hyena laughing before the end of the day. Why do I always get the hard jobs? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you're glad I didn't say banana again. <laughs> uh, I don't get it. I don't understand. I told him my best joke. I want to see him laugh. I'm trying. Try harder. Ready? On the count of three. Three. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Sorry. Uh, ow. Try harder. It's <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> funny. Huh? Hmm. Ow. Hi. Special delivery for Mr. Faisal. Thanks. S -s -s Sign here. Th thanks. That's all, folks. Is that supposed to be funny? Right. That's it. I jolly had it. <laughs> Say goodbye to the laughing hyena. Okay, goodbye. Bye, laughing hyena. <laughs> so long. Sorry to see you go. Where are you taking him? I'm releasing him back into the wild. Ow! He seemed like a nice hyena too. Could have used a s s sense of humor, th though. Now what? Now what? You're a jolly laughing hyena who doesn't laugh. Who wants you in the zoo? Have a nice life. I'm free. They've set me free. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> How about we watch Josie Zoo and you give me a swords while it's on? Check this out. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's just very the mosquito repellent. Memo from management. The famous circus owners, the Flying Brothers, will be arriving today. All animals wishing to audition for the circus, please queue up. The circus? I always wanted to run away and join the circus. Really? What happened? I ran away and joined the zoo instead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're all having a jolly time. Being in the circus is wonderful. The smell of the grease paint, the roar of the crowds, all the sawdust you can eat. I'm allergic to sawdust. Right, take off those sunglasses. The Flying Brothers are yeah. On your feet, let's jolly well go. <laughs> Who wants the circus? I was just getting a tan. Just when I was getting comfortable. Right. Say hello to the famous circus impresarios, the Flying Brothers. Hi. How are you doing? What's up, Sharp? No talking in the queue. Attention. Sheesh. What a grouch. What did you say? Nothing. They're all yours. Take a look. Help yourselves. Hmm. As you can see, these are fine specimens that would honor any circus in the world. These animals are in top condition, uh, except uh, for maybe the meerkat. Hey! I said no talking! <laughs> oh! Hmm. Ace! Hmm. One more time for me. Hey! <laughs> right. This is for the big top. So give it everything you got. And action! Hey, you smell something burning. Next. He's a little rusty. Next. Action, you jolly reptiles! Do something! <laughs> Next! Next! Jolly disaster! Next! Presenting... Faisal, the meerkat cannonball! <laughs> Ow! Ace! Wait, uh, come back! I've saved the best for last! Oh, oh. Nice moves, Max. Thanks. Gotta hand it to you, Faisal. Yeah, I told you. All we had to do was perform really badly. And they'd never sign us for this stupid circus. Yeah, who wants to join the circus when we can stay at the zoo and not do any work? Bob wasn't happy, though. I think he really likes the circus. Hey, where is Bob, by the way? Bob? I don't know. Haven't seen him. Uh, anyone seen Bob? And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome our newest star circus attraction, the incredibly funny, 
Bob the Clown. Uh, howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> What's this? Oh, the ice. Uh, ouch. Stop that, you jolly circus attending audience members. <laughs> See, actually, broccoli is not weird. Broccoli is healthy. I like broccoli. There you go. That's why I don't eat broccoli. Because it's weird. Because I'm weird. Are you calling me weird? Check this out. This is really cool. I would never. Monkey? Yes, no one has seen him all day, and I found this by the zoo lake. <gasps> what, what, what could have... <laughs> Where do you think he is? I don't think you'll ever see your jolly monkey again. What happened to the monkey? The monster got him. M -m monster The Zoo Lake Monster. They say he sits at the bottom of Zoo Lake, guarding the treasure. Uh, Captain Bob's treasure. You see, not another flashback. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> Captain Bob was a fearsome zoo pirate. C Captain Bob? Some say he was my great 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 grandfather. Who said that? My great 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 grandmother. Wait a minute. Did you say they were zoo pirates? So, some pirates stole gold, my family stole animals. Oh. Can I continue the jolly story? Only if there's no more flashbacks. Anyway, Captain Bob buried his treasure in Zoo Lake. Who buries a treasure in a lake? I said Captain Bob was a pirate. I didn't say he was smart. They say the treasure is still down there, but it's guarded by a horrible creature, the Zoo Lake Monster. Oh. And you're going down there. Me? Why me? Because otherwise we have no story and the cartoon is over. Oh, good point. Besides, don't you want to avenge your little monkey friend? It, uh, yeah, well, Max was closer to him than I was. Anyway, if you think I'm going down to the bottom of Zoo Lake, you are sadly mistaken. How do I get talked into these things? Now go, kill the Zoo Lake monster, and bring back Captain Bob's treasure. <clears throat> Kill the monster, too. Good luck, mighty. Vengeance for the monkey. Vengeance, Vengeance for, for the, the monkey. monkey. Yeah, what a baby. I heard that. Sorry. Uh, I am at the bottom of the lake. Hurry up. You've only got ten seconds of air left. What? You're just joking. Now go find the treasure. I, I think I see the treasure chest. Ah! Help! It, it's the monster! Uh, uh, don't panic. Take deep breaths. Then kill the monster. Uh, he's fine. Avenge the monkey, kill the monster, and get the chest. Uh, not necessarily in that order. <laughs> the chest, he's done it. Yay! Don't worry, everyone, there is no lake monster. Did you hear what I said? There's no lake monster at all, just a bunch of old junk. Uh, yeah, uh, that's great. Give me a hand, will you? Hey, the little monkey. He wasn't eaten at all. Yeah, I was just teasing you to go under the lake. 
gold pirate treasure. Rich! I'm rich! <laughs> no more zoo animals, no more stupid meerkats, no more cleaning cages, no more... Hey, these aren't the gold coins. These are coins with video games. What? Huh? Oh, congratulations, Bob. You get to play lots of free video games. What a rip-off. All that for nothing. <laughs> That's the last time I go diving for treasure, avenging monkeys, and killing sea monsters in a zoo lake. No treasure. There's no jolly treasure. Treasure? There wasn't even a monster. How do you like that? Not even a monster. Ah! Oh, let go, you jolly tentacle brain. <laughs> Without further ado, Josie Zoo. Uh, Josie Zoo. Ow, ow. The African Zuri foraging for food. It's breakfast, a diet of fish and bugs. Making a meal of a minnow, the bird is unaware of its surroundings. Mm -hmm. And now, the hunter is about to become the hunted. The luri grabs another tasty fish, suspecting nothing. The crocodile moves closer, closer. Bye-bye, <laughs> birdie. I love these w w w wild, w wild nature programs. This is a little too close to home. Life can be cruel, but that's nature. Until next time, I'm David Battenborough, famous wildlife photographer. Join us next week for wonderful wildlife. Oh, come on. These things are all fake. How do you think they photograph all these animals without them knowing it? I bet there isn't even a real person named David Battenborough. <laughs> Uh, everyone, this is David Battenborough, the famous wildlife photographer. He's here to shoot all of you uh, for his TV program, Wonderful Wildlife. <coughs> Fake, eh? He, he, he looks pretty real to me. Quiet! No talking! We have a famous guest. Uh, uh, Mr. Battenborough, if there's anything you need, anything at all, I'm the guy to talk to. Right. Now, while I film you, the important thing is for you to be yourselves. Just act naturally. Just pretend I'm not here. You never saw me. You don't know who I am, and you're not going to be on a hugely popular international TV program. And above all, whatever you do, don't look at the camera. Are you deaf? Don't look at the camera, you jolly furry meerkat! Sheesh! The wild African meerkat, lying asleep in the sun. He tries to sleep without looking at the camera. Okay, okay, chill. His fur glistening in the sunlight. All is peaceful in the zoo, but little does this simple meerkat know that he's about to become the hunted. Huh? Uh-oh. That's right. A careless zoo visitor throws away his ice cream. Ice cream? For the meerkat, this could mean disaster. Cue ice cream. Hold it. And cut. Thanks. That was great. Okay, let's move on to the next shot. Lunchtime at the zoo watering hole. As the mighty African lion huddles over his food and chews into his prey, no care in the world. None. But wait, what's this? The lion senses danger. Another predator, perhaps? No! A giant sledgehammer has destroyed his food. Now the lion must hunt and forage all over again. Nature and the zoo can be cruel sometimes. And cut! That was great. Okay, what's the next shot? 
To the African gorilla, life is easy. There are no real predators to worry about. But what about the deadly rubber bands? Ow! Ouch! Oh! Hey! Stop! And cut. How was that? Need more drama. You got paper clips? <laughs> The African python and crocodile. Cold-blooded reptiles, they lie peacefully in the sun. But appearances can be misleading. No one would suspect that they are actually waiting. Waiting for easy prey to venture just a little too close. The trap is set. And then, when the moment comes, they attack. I said, they attack. Cut. Hey, hey. This is for wildlife television. Can we get a little movement here? You, hello. I can't work with amateurs. And now, welcome to Wonderful Wildlife, starring David Battenborough. Tonight, we bring you a very special program. A special program about zoo animals. Tonight's special program about zoo animals has been cancelled. Instead, we bring you another special program. Hey, hey, it's Annabelle. The African python sleeping in the sun. They swallow their prey whole. For the next half hour, join me, wildlife photographer David Battenborough, as I study this amazing reptile from the inside out. As you can see, I am now inside the python's stomach. To the right, it's digestive tract. And over there, python intestines. Cool program. D -d 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 Absolutely. Ah, see what else is on. Okay, cut. You've made your point. Can somebody let me out of here now? I, I have another show to do. Oh, come on. Hey, my camera's running out of batteries. Come on, let me out. Please? Oh, guys, hello. The techno age.